What's up guys, my name's Devin, and this is Coast to Coast Customs. Let me turn you to my host, JP. Alright, what's up guys, uh, it's been a long time since I did a video. Got a lot going on, might be about to move pretty soon, so I got my boy Devin over here, he's helping me clean up the shop, get stuff ready, stuff looking good. And uh, right now we're working on uh, cleaning up my camper, which I never finished showing you guys after I finished putting it together and everything. So we're all sweaty and dirty, we've been working all day. But I figured I could give you guys an update since every, you know, I've seen to got a lot of subscribers lately and uh, I haven't been putting anything up, so I owe it to you guys. Um, if you look at this stuff, Devin, you can show them the stuff here. Uh, these are some molds. Um, this, it's the Skelly Grow bottle from Harry Potter. And uh, anyway, uh, I saw a guy on a Replica Prop Forum uh, when I was looking for pictures for my reference to start the sculpt. Um, the actual pictures of the sculpt are on soaringhammer.com. Uh, that's Dave's site, or most of you know him as Ithaca. Uh, it's a cool little site that uh, I'm about to start posting some projects on and whatnot. But uh, anyway, this is my Skelly Grow bottle. Uh, you can find my sculpt picks on there. And um, I just finished all the silicone molds for it. And uh, all I'm lacking right now is the, uh, the mother mold for the body. And uh, once I do the mother mold on the body, I'll be able to cast copies of this. So uh, they'll be cast in solid, smooth casts. So it should be pretty cool. Uh, anyway, that's all that's going on with that. But uh, the main part of this video, I wanted to show you guys the inside of the camper since I had finished the inside and outside. Uh, because the last video um, was in the dark and it was on the outside when I was constructing. So uh, we'll go outside and we'll take a look at it. Here she is in all her glory, the camper. Did a little cheesy airbrushing on it, thought why not, put the coast to coast graphic on there and make it custom, you know. You can come around the back here and uh, see everything was handmade, there was, it was very little plants that I actually did, but it's all handmade and it's covered in a rubber roof cut, coating the whole thing and then I just painted over that. Um, I'm just using a, a small air conditioning unit just like you would put in your house, something like that. This is a... Uh, one of the smallest because I don't need much to cool down this trailer uh, as I did put insulation in it so it does stay nice ice cold. Um, back here, got your little cargo compartment where I keep my jacks and uh, various things like that. Um, I've got this handy little rig here if I want to hold the door open. All I do is I clip, clip it right there and the door holds open. I know, it's genius. I'm gonna patent it, but can't keep all my secrets. So there, I showed you guys. That's one of my secrets. Um, oh, another update is I'm legal. You looking at the license plate? Are you looking at the license plate? Me? Yeah. No. Well, I was. That's what I'm trying to show you, bonehead. Anyway, I'm legal now. So I can take this puppy down the road and come on this side. I'm showing the camper. So. Anyway, these are some windows I got from uh, an actual RV. Ordered a bunch of them. There's actually a salvage site on eBay. I forgot the name, but these are dirt cheap. They cost me about $30 a piece, and they really give it a real look. So. Uh, Put those in. The front I kept very bare. Come around to the front, Devin. Come forward. The front is very uh, bare because I plan on eventually painting me a nice mural up front here. Um, but yeah, that is your walk through. It's just on a Harbor Freight uh, trailer, a kit you can buy yourself at Harbor Freight. Um, they sell them online. It's kind of expensive on the shipping, but if you have a Harbor Freight near you, you can get them pretty cheap. This one cost me about 250 bucks. All right, so let's come take a look at the inside. Okay, you can go ahead and step in. So, come up here. 
Alright, first uh, you'll notice is the uh, nice little touch lights I installed in here. Devin, you can show them. Take a look at those. Nice little addition. Don't really have that in campers, but uh, I thought it was cool. Uh, my wife made all these uh, curtains. These were out of a uh, shower curtain, a deluxe shower curtain, so my wife made those. Uh, so I'll just start at the front and show you uh, the stuff I got in here. Uh, got a mini microwave. Uh, got to have that in a camper. Got the custom Xbox holder. And uh, all my wires and stuff ran. Um, this section here is actually for my uh, flat screen TV that we mount in here. Um, you come over here, this is a small room here that can be used as a closet. But also, if you go in there, uh, you'll see uh, I have the uh, portal it uh, in case you have to go to the bathroom in the middle of the night uh, you do have plumbing and I have a table um, with a fake granite countertop uh, for sitting outside and, and eating also have uh, access to the mirror in here in case you want to take a stinky shit <laughs> I said shit okay anyway this door stays closed uh, by just a couple little hooks here um, there is actually a locket mechanism inside so no one pulls open the door while you're taking a crap. Um, if you look right here, uh, this is a shelf I have for uh, putting uh, canned goods and bread and stuff like that for the travel. Um, this bungee cord here is to hold the uh, fridge back, but that's all it's for and uh, you know it's a normal size mini fridge. Uh, you see you got some ice cold beers in there probably about six months old I'm definitely not gonna drink those um, have a sink here this is a sink ordered new off of eBay from a uh, camper supply site okay and then uh, if we turn over here I uh, have a two burner stove and uh, you know it's really small but this is a small camper and this huge cargo space down here uh, where I have my uh, fire extinguisher because this thing is made out of solid wood uh, another thing I want to point out is the first strips. Each one of these strips is individually cut, stained, and varnished um, by myself. Uh, it's actually what made the lengthy build uh, of this camper was these pieces. But I wanted something that really looked soft and warm inside because I hate feeling stuffed up in a camper. And, and with the soft wood, it feels really warm in here, you know. Okay, so uh, come over here, Devin. For sure. Right now the bed is down. Um, the sides are kind of bare, but normally they have the uh, these cushions down here, um, which are like a floral pattern that my wife picked out. It goes really good in here. But uh, the bed is basically the, the normal seat cushions and then a four and a half inch memory foam mattress. And I just have a, a comforter on top here. So it's extremely comfortable to sleep on. Um, up here is the, the air condition with this custom makeshift vent up here to blow the air down. Um, and then I have uh, two cabinets up here, which I keep the uh, our beach towels and uh, excess uh, clothes up there. If Devin turns around and he looks below the Xbox there, there's also more storage there. And uh, looking back over this way, uh, the... Uh, Instead of a traditional uh, dining table, I did you know, like a couch, like a three-way couch. So it's actually solid, and that's solid uh, storage compartments in there that you could actually use. So uh, yeah, um, that's the inside of the cabin in a nutshell. I'll let Devin give you a slow aerial and uh, show you. Uh, the nice roof here is uh, this is actually. Uh, I don't know. I, I think this is just like a some kind of perch, maybe. It's got a few bird's eyes in it, but uh, this has no clear coat or anything. All I did was no, no, no. Actually, it has one coat of polyurethane on it, and it really brings out the wood. So, um, yeah, thought I'd show you guys that. Also, Devin, you can show them the floor there. Uh, this uh, space in the floor here I put is actually so you can, uh, me, I'm, I'm about almost 5'11", and uh, I can stand all the way up here and 
it enables me to be able to put my clothes on and stuff uh, without hitting my arms and it gives you a space where you can stand up and you don't have to slouch now if I stand up here I have to slouch just slightly but my wife can stand up in here perfect so if she's happy I'm happy but uh, yeah this nice little uh, addition and I thought it added a little neatness adding these boards here I don't know it kind of looks like a boat dock or something but uh, yeah Alright guys, this is uh, JP from Two Coast Customs, and uh, my cameraman is Devin Fairchild from uh, down the street, and uh, look forward to more videos. Uh, sorry I hadn't been putting them out, but uh, I'll do my best to keep uh, cranking them. So look forward to the next video where I'll show you guys a casting of the uh, Skelly Grow bottle, and uh, yeah, we'll see you on the next one.